Y'all yeah, got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Neek video. Got Lena and her feelings. Y'all, I'm sick. Sorry for the low energy. Let's get it. Lena did respond after people were coming for King and Lena for not coming back home for Kaiser's birthday. Right in tell Kaiser. I did say happy birthday to him. Most definitely did in real life. Over the phone. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 24. Why are you always in their business? Bitch, why are you always in our business? That's the real question. Why are you always in our business? It's who's in whose business? We all chilling. What happened to your face? Nothing. Your face looks so fun. Hey girl, your man me texting my friend. You can even spell that right. That's <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> your man me texting my friend. Okay. Does it get draining to have people always overanalyze your life? <sighs> of course. Um, but I feel like everybody has to go through it. Like everybody goes through it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why she respond to everything. The fuck all y'all. <laughs> Is where I would be, but shit. I get it. If it, especially if it bring a bag. Oh yeah, she on. Never mind. She on TikTok. That's a bag. And we'll forever go through it. Like, it'll forever be a thing. You know, like it's even in the Bible. Like everybody judged and threw rocks at like you know Jesus, God, and it's just like it's just it just that's just life like it, it is annoying don't get me wrong it is very annoying it do be draining but i feel like you know god gives um the toughest battles to you know people that will overcome them and i just feel like everything is very Corey responds to people Shit. in c wayne that him and zoe got something going on you know you know it's so funny with this whole situation right let me just show you how the internet works People take certain clips and try to make shit out of what it's not. Now, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I seen the video that Zoe did here on live. Man, Zoe, y'all understand Zoe is a complete troll. Oh, Corey! This is for Corey! Corey! You said, why do I love you? I don't even know why I love you. It's just something. <laughs> it is something, Corey. I'm not gonna lie. Somebody literally sent this to me. Not this. It was another one. Did he get a... You know what? I ain't paying no attention to this. Somebody said Neek reacted as ASAP. I'm like, for what? Girl, Zoe, Zoe could very well be dead ass serious outside of the trolling. Of, this is clear trolling. He could absolutely be attracted to Corey, though, but that don't mean they together. Like, come on, y'all. Read the room. That's all I'm saying. Read the room sometime. I don't know why y'all don't be getting certain shit. It is annoying. <laughs> you got to know Zoe, you feel me? To know that he's a complete troll. See, the thing is, like, he know I don't play around like that. I don't play them tight games, bro. You feel me? Like, I'm a, I'm a cool and respectful, but Zoe himself know that Corey don't play them tight games. See, as I told y'all plenty of time before, I don't judge people. You feel me? So, and on top of that, just to kind of, like, let it be known, every time I seen Zoe purse, I had my girl. I had a girl with me. First time Karma was with me on that video that they, I just, I, I seen another picture going viral where he was looking at me, we were sitting beside you, we was on live trolling that day. And if you didn't, if you didn't see the live, then you wouldn't know. So it's understandable, I ain't tripping, you know, you just going on what you're seeing. But yeah, I was on live that day, we went to another, it was actually trolling, I had Karma with me, actually Karma was sitting across the table. The second time he seen me in person, um, who was with me? I think Precious or Maddie was with me, one of them was with me. That was it. You know, the live situation, everybody saw that. You know what I'm saying? So that one, that ain't nothing that they could try to troll me about. You know, you don't get no cool for for that. But now, him going live and telling y'all that, oh, Corey texts me good morning and all that type shit. Now, he was capping. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't even go too far. He didn't say Corey texts me this mo good morning. He said he texts Corey good morning. Now, Corey about to let the trolls... Yeah. Not all the messages and shit. Like it ain't even nothing that serious. Like me, I know he was trolling. Now he got to defend the fact that he not gay. 
But it's just the fans and shit. Everybody knows that Zoe and Corey be playing around. It's, it's all so entertainment. Stupid. If Corey felt the way, Zoe would stop altogether. It's just that people that don't like Corey right now is using that against Where him. Where the hell is this video at? I, I need this video in my life. Where is this one? Chris just used it, trying to play around. He's trolling because Zoe be flirting with him. So he already know it's just dumb playing around. But everybody is just using that against Corey. And I guess Corey is starting to feel some type of way about it because he don't want people to get entertainment confused with real life. So it is what it is y'all leave your comments down below let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that speaking of chris sales he did speak on child support listen we both be getting dragged man we both be getting dragged for nothing bro for nothing yo let me tell y'all how child support really work on my soul right child support work like this if my bm took care of our son and she wasn't financially stable and I had the funds to meet the requirements in order to take care of our son. And I wasn't doing my part into helping her financially, then I should be put on child support. That's what anybody, I'm just using myself for an example. Let's say if I have my son a majority of the time and my BM make the money she makes and I wasn't financially stable, then she will go on child support if she wasn't helping out. But if in my situation we have joint custody right so i get my son uh, a certain amount of time holidays summertime etc so when he's with me i'm not about to go ask my being for money because obviously i don't need it because i'm financially stable enough to take care of my son when he's in my household that's because you was able to have the money the whole year to do so i'm so sick of you trifling ass man oh girl i'm not gonna lie this shit hits a different trigger for me you know how some people be like i ain't in my feelings i'm in my feelings about this shit it's ridiculous to actually like think i don't ask my being for nothing when he over here Bitch, you was able to save money the whole year because you didn't have to spend any money until he got there for Christmas. You Christmas ass, Thanksgiving ass niggas. Oh my God. I'm not going to lie. A lot of shit I don't give a fuck about at all. Like literally in real life, it's just like, oh, I, I, don't, I don't care. But this right here. Ooh, it's so different, especially when you really going through it. Oh, oh, it's a different type of girl. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna let him finish. Same as my BM. She don't need to ask me for money. And they be dead ass serious. I'm talking dead ass serious, <laughs> man. She's financially stable <laughs> to take care of our son in her household, so. And I know people in the comments are going to be like, well, why don't you just send her money if she have a majority of the time? Why would I? Just ask <sighs> yourself, why would I really send her money if she make more money than me? <sighs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, she make more money than me, so why would I send her money? Now, if she needed help with anything, school, this and that, then I would help her. But when he come over here, he have everything. When he, when he This over is why Sierra said, I want to get your pill popping money. I want to get your... Your, your bottle money. I want to get your go back to, not your go back to school money. When they go back to school, you doing what it is that you doing and I'm paying for that back to school. Yeah, I want, I want that money. So you'll know what it feel like and know what the fuck I'm doing throughout the year. But I will say, if you continue to like, let this bother you, girl, you will be in a different place. And that's why, Mm -mm. You just gotta be a boss That's why Queen ain't asking for shit I don't need your money But you will forever be a bitch ass nigga But just don't Like don't nobody need this either You know what I'm saying Don't nobody wanna hear you talk about this shit bro You ain't got it You ain't got it You a broke nigga Cool Cool Be a broke nigga on your own time Quit talking about me I would literally put a cease and desist out on this motherfucker And if he wouldn't shut up Then I will go restraining order. Then I will go lawsuit. I'm going to get my money either way. But leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? But I will say too on his end, Queen need to stop talking about him as well. 
going to these interviews, talking about him. Like, I will say sometimes when you don't bring him up, he don't say shit. He don't say nothing. So every time Queen will bring him up, I'll be like, ugh. <sighs> him and them, Claire, I mean, her and Clarence will say something in a video. Like, mm -mm, stop talking about this man. <laughs> he got the right to respond. God damn. Mm -mm. There, she, I mean, he has everything. So child support doesn't work like, okay, this parent get mad at this parent, so I'm going to put you on child support to hurt you or ruin your life or because I'm going to try to get money out of you because I know this, this, this is what's going to irritate you or this going to, no, the child support shouldn't work like that. You feel me? Shouldn't I'm work like that. I'm a present dad. I'm a good dad. I know my son loves me to pieces. My son loves Present me to is death. hilarious. I love my son to pieces. I will go above and beyond for my son, any of my kids, not just baby Chris. All and see, that's the part that also bothers me because men actually believe the bullshit that comes out of their mouth. A real man ain't going to miss his son graduation. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. <laughs> like, graduation, graduation is a, a pivotal moment. Like, that's, that's one of them shits you're not going to get back. So when a nigga say... I would go above and beyond for my son. Then you hit him with the, well, why you ain't come to his graduation? <laughs> above and beyond is birthdays, graduations. You going to see me. You going to feel me. My son need to feel me. <clears throat> Not just see me. I will say the difference between him and King, though. I'm bringing up King because right now he is chasing after his dream. We had to chase after her dream, too. Sometimes you got to chase after your dream and, you know, it be fucked them kids for a second. I just feel like it's been fucked them kids for years. You know what I'm saying? He ain't chased no dreams yet. <laughs> All of my kids. So with that being said, <clears throat> child support. He's such a present dad. ain't never got him. Crazy, man. It's not needed in this situation for those who was asking about child support and those who was asking me, uh, why don't I just send my money? I mean, my, my, my BM any money. Like, why would I do that? Like, that just don't make sense. It really don't. You get what I'm saying? Call me back. I will say, I wouldn't ask for money either. Like, I don't. I don't need shit. And for some reason, men, I really don't like it. Like, they want you to ask. I don't like that. It kind of bothers me. Because, you know... I'm the type of person you don't have to ask because I clearly know what you need. And y'all, that may be the cheat code of me being a woman and dressing like a man because I'm not a man, obviously. So I can't think like them, right? <laughs> At least I don't want to think like them. Shit. Um, but it's like, as a man, you know you need boxers. You know what I'm saying? You know you need white beaters. You know you need socks. Like, to all y'all that follow me, right? How often does y'all boyfriends and husbands and shit buy like boxer briefs and, you know, um, wife beaters and socks and because like, God forbid, these niggas have girls. Wait till they start their periods. You know what I'm saying? Um, like when periods come, a nigga like you, uh, do you know? You know what I'm saying? That's why I be, girl, I be so angry. Like. Do you know what come with a girl, bro? First of all, she started a cycle. She got to know how to use, you know, her sanitary napkins and got to know how to swap them out, mess her shit up. You know, you got to clean them or then you got to buy more because of that reason. Oh, God. Please, Nick, LOL, my daughter's only five. Spare me. No. Y'all need to know. I could probably save y'all from some shit, okay? But, baby, it's coming. <laughs> Girl, this shit is a lot. I'm talking about nails, hair, makeup, eyelashes, them fucking pimple patch, uh, um... Pimple patch stickers. Um, nails, hair, pimple patch stickers, pads, panties, 
bras. Okay, let's like we have to all these things have to be purchased. All these things have to be swapped out. And you speak of why would she need money or why would she need whatever? Like what? And you think y'all it's so frustrating and I know. <laughs> I know. It's a projection. I know it's a projection. Y'all ain't got to listen. One thing about me, I'm gonna keep it all the way thou wow. Okay, that shit right there is a different type of frustration. My one year old going target grabbing stuff. Like she got the money, it gets worse when they get older. Hello. At least when they get older. Why y'all think our parents used to say when we go ahead on touch shit, don't think about shit. Don't I ain't buying shit. Leave me alone. Okay. And it's because, like, you children get used to things, right? So if you keep saying yes, they're used to that. So now you got to keep doing that shit. But if you get to saying no, putting standing on that business, that's why parents have to say that. You got to stand on business. Let me tell y'all something. London love um, fast food, right? Baby, she is a sucker for a Chick-fil-A sandwich. She is a sucker for some wing stop. She got that last night, by the way. She's a sucker for Chipotle. That's what London call a Chipotle. She's a sucker for Chipotle. Okay? Now, if I tell London every day, yes, I'll get you some Chipotle. Yes, I'll get you some wing stop. Yes, I'll get you some Zaxby's. Yes, I'll get you some McDonald's. That's what she going to expect every day. So, you got to put, put your foot on that. But not only that, when it's another parent involved, especially the dad, um... That's when you got to come in. But see, I bet you Chris won't. Chris will probably be like, ask your mama. That's, that's another thing that they like to do. Well, why you ask your mama? They here with me. So what would make you not buy a door to? Well, I don't want her to get used to me saying, yeah, you not here. You get what I'm saying? It's just so much that go into children, responsibility, life. It's just so ignorant for them to think like that. But it is what it is, man. When Queen said that she gave him grace <laughs> by not putting him on child support is when they divorced back in April they 2017. They would walk past a nigga to ask you. was right now. If Queen was... Who, the kids? One more one in the chat. You talking about the kids? Uh, say no now so they can get comfortable with it or good, not today. No, say no now so they can get comfortable with getting their own money. My daddy used to be like, oh, you want the Jordans? Yeah. Save your money to buy them, right? So I used to have to come up with majority of the money to get the Jordans. Facts, uh, music Barry walk straight by his ass. Cause she know he ain't buying it. I'ma go ahead and ask the parent. I know that's gonna buy that shit. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Fuck, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> would have put him on child support at that time he would have been paying child support from then all the way until he's 21 it's hard to prove to a court when you don't do anything as is you're not waking up any children right Hello. you're not doing anything Hello. it's hard to prove to a court that you can't afford to pay the child support when that's you another thing oh my god they gotta wake you thank god i don't know how i would be able to do <laughs> my own child because waking up in the morning is not one of my favorite things to do. Obviously, I know that I would probably adapt, right? But that's why you need two parents, because somebody just going to be a little bit better in some areas. Now, honey, I can go to sleep at 3 o'clock and wake up at 4.30 a.m. to get them up. I go to sleep at 3 o'clock. I ain't waking up till 12.30. The alarm done went off. Okay, I'm all fucked up. Okay, girl. The kids would have missed school fuck around with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah, my kid would miss school all day long, okay? Y'all, we got to know our flaws as people. Girl, it's a flaw for me to get up in the morning. For some reason, I can't go to sleep at night. I don't know. To ask Jesus. I'm sick of it. But ultimately, that's my problem, right? But like I say, that's why you have two-parent households. Or you should. If you don't, the woman got to figure out how to do it all on her own. It's just a lot. It's so much. And men just don't get it. And 
They never will, girl. And, and, and don't get me wrong. I know some, some of y'all on here right now like, my husband, get it? My husband's good. Girl, I ain't talking about your husband. I'm talking about niggas like this nigga right here. Him. This one right here. Okay. You have nothing but time on your hands. So that's how the child support rules work. Not because, oh, I make this and you make this because we all know Chris comes once a year and he pulls this little situation with Queen and he stacks up his money and then he disappears. Just because we don't see the money doesn't mean he ain't making the money. Hello. That's what people got to understand. It's other ways to get money besides social media. Just because you don't see me on social media dropping music, dropping videos, don't mean I ain't getting money. If y'all remember the girl that previously came out that was trying to get pregnant by him she said that he had a freeze on his account for 900 and something thousand dollars she said that thing was real and they were trying to get the freeze off because it was something with taxes or i don't know what happened everybody trying to figure out why Corey suddenly got money to spend Corey said he make people think what he want them to think that nigga probably was sitting on the m waiting to spend that money with somebody that would have been worth it and maddie just wasn't that person <laughs> so yeah, niggas put money to the side just like women do. But it was a freeze on his account. What's this thing I got to ask you for something? I, I don't <coughs> get it, boys. Did? Why does the other parent have to extend their hand to you? I already do majority of the work. Man. The least you could do is be like, okay, how much is the schooling? Or do he need school supplies? Or do he need this? Or do he need that? Man. No? I got to ask you for something? <laughs> yeah. Man. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Go ahead and that shit crazy. Get off bro. here. <laughs> no, you go ahead and get off of here. Like seriously, don't tell me to get off my live. You get off of my live. You get off. Why y'all be doing that? Why be that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Like when people tell me what to do. Don't do that. Girl, that pet peeve came from him. You can see that. I hate when y'all do that. We all are in a striking mode right now, all of us. Except the niggas who ain't got shit going on or shit to do. Girl, I just cannot. <laughs> I can't, y'all. But, um, yeah, girl, it's a mess. It's a mess. I just... The fact that they really think like that is, is bothersome because... My daddy told me a long time ago, them kids are never, not just mine, kids in general will never stop loving their dad and will never stop loving the parent who ain't doing shit for You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about you could be the best stepdaddy in the world, baby. Best stepdaddy in the world. Soon as they, soon as they daddy come along, shit. They go, what? What you mean? That's my daddy. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so it's no need of don't get me wrong I don't stress about this shit at all that's why I make sure I make my coin cause I got a family to feed so let's get into this tea I don't have time to play you know what I'm saying um, it's nothing you could do but the ignorance is crazy not gonna cap you down the ignorance is out of control Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.